it is the year 2015, which means it's been three years since the Jersey Shore was on TV and five years since anyone gave a shit. This also means that the definition of the cool meathead has changed. And according to all the dudes you want to impress, it's no longer cool to be a curl bro. Sad day, I know. I have compiled a library of data that spans the course of four Instagram popular page refreshes. The following is the anatomy of the modern lifting bro. Let's begin our analysis at the head. The only part of the body you can't grow by lifting or getting a boner. Now, you can't grow your head, but you can grow a beard. It was a small window of time where having a beard was like saying, hey, I'm not your stepdad. I'm just the guy that fucks your mom. Instead of saying, hey, I'm just another schmuck with a beard. But by the time you committed to growing a beard, you had missed the window. But you have a beard anyway, because you're too big for windows and your head is too small for your shoulders. Notice here, a distinct lack of 3D delts. This is because the modern lifting bro is, and always was, a lifetime natty. You used to get automatic props for being natural. But now that steroids have become more accepted, it's harder for you, a lifetime natty, and all around better guy, to get the recognition that you deserve. You're not getting the props you used to, and you're still not getting the gains you never did. You don't get any points for not cheating if you still suck. You're not fucking Derek Jeter, bro. You know who you are? You're that dude with no legs that ran in the Olympics and shot his girlfriend and didn't even win. Good for you competing with a handicap, but you don't need to beat us over the head with it or shoot us in the face because you're still a shitty person and you lost. Burns, doesn't it? The truth. Is that a self-portrait? This right here is self-portrait. <laughs> I just painted that. It's a man A. Man A, man B. If we direct our attention to this infograph, we can see the modern lifting bro handing his phone to another nearby bro, asking him to record his set. Woo! Yeah, uh, yeah, buddy. Uh, Bruno Mars. Stand right here. Okay. Don't, don't fucking move. Record my set. Get it? I know it is. Just hit the button. Stop recording now. Do not miss this. Why is he recording his set? Because the modern lifting bro is now a power bodybuilder. Being big doesn't cut it. You can't just be big because you're natural. So you need to be strong. You can't just be strong for yourself. That would be fucking ridiculous. You need to be strong for Instagram. Don't go anywhere. You're not done overcompensating yet. Slatter that fucking post with technical lifting jogging and Star Wars robots just to make sure you nab that validation. MOTD, just hit a PR2D2 for 425. Block pull, aka my max off the floor for a triple double. Top set raw D load week, and was sick and girlfriend dumped me too. Let's take the submarine a little deeper. Okay, let's take a closer look into the stomach. Upon dissecting the stomach of a modern lifting bro, you will find that their diet consists entirely of bingo numbers. To be exact, 500C, 180P, 90F. But who's counting? I am. What, are you still eating fucking bro food? As we can see here, the modern lifting bro was born with a lifting belt instead of an umbilical cord. The purpose of wearing a lifting belt is to make your core more rigid to improve heavy lifts. The reason you wear a lifting belt is to alert everybody that you're now a power bodybuilder and to tighten up your shirt without having to tuck it in like you work at UPS and rape at high school. Sumo deadlifts. Sumo deadlifts are like eating butt. No one used to do it, and if you did, you were considered a deranged sexual immigrant. But now, everyone's doing both. Where the booty at? You heard it here first. Pull sumo, eat butt. Uh. Knee sleeves. A giant female condom worn around the knee for the appearance of mass and to support your knees during all those fucking squats you do now. When not squatting, knee sleeves can be worn around your ankles to hide your shameful deer bones. Joggers, worn when not hitting legs, which is basically never, cause you can't spell legendary without leg day. You also can't spell del gay without leg day, which is Spanish for fuck that. Weightlifting shoes, a cross between a clog, a hoof, and a jelly sandal. 
They provide optimal heel leverage for squatting. But more importantly, weightlifting shoes add an inch to your height and two inches to your lifting dick. You may have noticed a startling trend. The modern lifting bro has discovered a use for legs. The modern lifting bro brags about how much he loves leg day because he wants you to know what your eyes can't tell you that he actually lifts. Bragging about leg day is like that dude who will insist on ordering the spiciest atomic chemical wings with extra fucking demon cum. Fuck off, bro. I know for a fact you don't actually enjoy eating those bony acid nuggets. Was it really worth watching your friends enjoy edible meals while you tongue punch Satan's dirt star just so you can look like the toughest guy at the table? Yes, it was. Cause leg day is the worst and you gotta pretend like you like it so everyone thinks you're the best. Do you want mild wings and chicken legs, or do you want face aids and mad props? Oh, somebody call the cops! Oh, I'm bombing Lego Land! Oh, Legatron! Oh, Legs Benedict! Oh. Oh, yeah. Squatch and you puke, homeboy! I gotta hit the bathroom about the fucking Ralph! Boot camp out the way! so much. Uh, side chick. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, don't tell nobody. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos, because you guys are pretty sensitive. And I'm not even going to try and sell you anything this week. This week. Next week, though, is a whole new week. Fresh sleep.